Boom. What up, Solar Manex? And only here back to some more League of Legends. Action. Pop. Oh, I didn't hit. Uh, playing some Lucian in the top lane. We're against Jax. Oh. Oh, I gotta back up from that. Bone plating OP. Let's see if he goes for this one. Huge hits. Back up. Get that auto. Yep. Sweet. Oh, I didn't get the tag. Ooh, PTA Brock again, man. Lucian OP, son. Oh, God. Really wanted that hit. As long as I'm in the EXP range for that one. Oh, I'm gonna miss that. Yep. Forced out all of his pots, probably. Should pop this last one. Sweet. Yeah, Lucian top is just absolute complete annoyance to play against. Couldn't get that next hit. That would have been so good. Take that trade though. Pop him. Walk away. Ooh, missed it. Oh no. Got the cannon though. Never missed those. Ooh. Easy peasy. Try to make a big play. Was not good enough though. I tend to do that type of stuff when I play against range top laners too. You just kind of make it, <laughs> you just all in them. You pick like your spot, you try and all in them as best as you can. That was not terrible, but because it didn't work, it ended up being really bad. All right, sweet, and grab this. Uh, I can actually run back and catch the wave and save my TP for later. Cause I don't think he can shove it into tower before I get there. He's gonna try. Cool. I could have flashed earlier. I think wouldn't have been that bad. I'm. I was pretty certain I wouldn't lose that. But like as he uh, flashed to me, I could have flashed this way and been like the similar play, except I didn't get stunned. Cause I would have still kept that distance. I was more worried about not having a ward for that bush and having to face check him afterwards. That would have sucked. Be a little careful here. Got to be a little careful. Pretty good chunk. Nice. And hold this wave outside the tower. Beautiful. Oh, that's bad. Well, that's bad. Imagine missing cannabis. It's pathetic. Oh, lasered, bro. He's got to leave. He teleported last time. I can shove. Punish. I don't want to use any more mana, actually. I was going to Q right there. Q, targeted spell. Puts a line through it as well. So you can hit people behind. So you can use it to like go through the, the minions. Piercing light. Then after using an ability, you get a double hit auto. Which is really important because it procs on hit effects, obviously. So you could go like Kraken, which I was thinking about doing, but against this guy, I think uh, it's just going to be a better idea to go uh, for the Gale Force. Because I think I need to be able to kite more than I need the extra DPS. Also, he has uh, his E is going to block my auto attacks for two seconds. I wonder how long until mid's level... Uh, Hmm. Well, that guy's dead. <laughs> kind of a questionable teleport, to be honest. It might be better just to run. Because I run to mid and then try to make a play. Oh, he's not going to have mana for it. Yeah, he will, actually. Beautiful. Beautiful. He just needs 100 mana. I should actually be able to get back here. Do that. Pop this over. Sweet. 
Um, even gonna get EXP from this. I'll take that. I will take that. Works for me. And we get Dragon. Not bad, boys. Not bad at all. Sweet. Yeah, then E is just a dash. W. It's like a little T. Anything that you hit gets marked. And you get increased uh, movement speed when you hit it. And then Ultimate fires a ton of those little projectiles in a line wherever you shoot. And again, you could always cancel that early. Because you get a double shot as well. And then every time you double proc, you actually reduce your E cooldown. It's pretty important. Honestly, it feels really awkward back in right here. But I have like no mana because I dumped it all. I think I need to be a little bit more careful with that. Jack, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the Crocodile Crew. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. It's a T, it's an X, whatever. Same shit, dude. <laughs> Same thing. You get the point. <laughs> Ooh, you went Bramble. Interesting. Get my awards down. All right, I want to try and pressure him before the wave stacks up too much. Beautiful. Anytime we can do that before the fight. Oh, that was not much I should have waited. The thing is, I can literally just stand here and win. Because he has to use too much to, like, get to me, you know? Like, he's leaping onto me, he's flashing onto me, he's eating, like, early. I can literally just stand there at the end and win. Uh, I fucked up my uh, R though. It's okay if to R like that if I was going to flash away. And that's what I was going to do, but then I just didn't. <laughs> so it was pretty bad. I should have waited until I got stunned and then done it. That way it doesn't get interrupted. Damn. Nice. Take those. Time to go. Sweet. I'm so close to my item. I'm literally going to grab this and just chill. Try and farm it out. It's like 200 gold, man. Backing right now. I feel like it's so bad. Could maybe make a play here. Oh, yeah. Poor guy got baited so hard. <laughs> That's just such unfortunate timing. Like, if it's actually just me there, it's not really that bad for him to go like that. Like, I'll probably just have to run away right there, basically. But because my juggler just happens to be right out of his sight, as he... Right before he jumps. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, shit. Get destroyed. Oh! Chill. I should have ulted, I think. Just cleared the wave instantly. That's alright. Happy with that. Nice. Back, get our Gale Force. Range shot laners, I know, right? Well, that's not fun. Lame. Still at the back. It's unfortunate. I got revealed. Grab this, pink ward swap. Wait for our mana. Put this on the right key. So now Gale Force is going to give us a dash. It looks pretty small, but I guess it's like 400 something range. Oh, is it because he can... Yeah, it's just showing minimum distance. You can extend it. Oh, that's why it always messes with my head. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they should be able to do this. I think you guys win that. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Really? I thought they would win that.
Trying to get back to our E. We don't want to walk up to him until our E's back up, because then we have no way of dodging away. Nah, I was going to flash forward, but... Bad Brenham. He's going to have to leave. Oh, I gotta be careful on mana. Oh. Good try. I'm just gonna shove. Once I get my essence river, it's gonna be so much easier because then I won't run to him. That's kind of a problem I'm running into. I'm spamming all my abilities. Oh damn. Yasuo's yeah, so popping off. I have a teleport for them. like 2,000 gold. I can go down there. I think it's okay. I just dump this wave down. There we go. Works out. Yeah, nice. Man, he got so much done in mid lane. That's super good. I'm with you. Yo, their jungle is level five. What the fuck? Oh my god. Has that been happening the whole? Wow. Okay. Sucks to be you, bro. Oh my god. Dude, he flashed away and he got hit by the ash arrow. Oh my god. He thought the top laner, that jump he did with Udyr being there was unlucky? How about that play? Oh my god. I would be so angry. <laughs> oh my god, I'd be crying like a baby, dude. 100%. Uh, I'm trying to get over here. <laughs> this item's so broken, dude. I just hit him for like 250 damage. Reasonable. Use the double shots to take towers quick. Nice. Man, I was like, this is my first game of the day. Let's let's pick something easy. Something I know I could probably get a video with. What's the easy OPS champion? Oh, Lucian top lane. Champion's so ridiculous. Alright, following up with Essence Reaver and then IE. Uh, Essence Reaver, IE. By the way, I know you might see this in my inventory, but what's the point of selling it right now? I'd get 180 extra gold, I'd be at like, what, 260 and I'd buy nothing. I'd buy like another pink ward, you know what I mean? Like, it still gives me stats, I'm still getting 7 attack damage off of it. I'm still getting on hit. So don't sell it unless you can actually get something to upgrade or you need that slot. Don't just sell it to sell it. Some people think that like you have to do it. You unlock the gold just by finishing the 100. Sweet. All right, shove this in. Now we get mana back on our crits. Oh, wait, no, it's not crits anymore. It's like the spell blade effect, right? Let me look. Um... Yeah, it's on Spellblade effects. So I have to reuse the abilities. Cool. Ooh. Spicy. I don't really want to be where I am. 
Is they definitely have vision on me. Oh, I got shit on. <clears throat> yeah, we can definitely do something here. Yo, we get Malphite ult? Yeah. Noise. Easy peasy, bro. Jesus. Let's go to drag. <clears throat> Get a pink here. Try to find some people. I'm gonna go get that bot with. Nice. Stay up in CS. Oh shit. Sweet. Beautiful. Can reset. Get my BF sword. E is now maxed. Lowest CD I can get it on. And then one second off every time we get a double hit. For my passive. Mm, now I'll sell it for pink ward though. So I don't have the extra slot anymore. Before I had the pink ward in this slot. And still had the call. But now that I bought this. I want pink. You could argue that the pink ward's not as worth it. I kind of want to play around the Baron when it comes up. I feel like we could go for a quick end if we get Baron. Oh, okay. I kind of want this fight. Yeah. Once he dashed away, once he queues away, there's no way he can do anything to me. The thing I'm worried about is him queuing at me. I was like ready for flash. Yeah, we should grab this. I'm gonna go push top. Sweep. Ooh, yoinking that away. they poor jungler, man. This guy hasn't been able to do shit all game. I think like Udyr invaded him like over and over. Plus you're playing AP in Italy, which is, you know. Not the best champion in the world. I want to do an AP uh, in Italy top build. I mean, she's okay in the jungle if she doesn't get like harassed and she can kind of do the harassing. When she's able to invade you, she does pretty well. Close to my IE. Oh, I have it, let's get it. Sweet. IE in the base, baby. Now we're gonna hit like an absolute truck. We should just get this. We can legit rush this. Oh, hopefully it doesn't die. I'm gonna TP. Uh, oh, ult that shit. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Let's go here. Should be good. I could literally ult the thing for a bunch of damage. Yeah, that's alright. I hold it. I'm gonna look for a play. Oh my god, dude. There we go. I got a ton here. Oh. He's flashing away, bro. Come on. Oh, you can do it. You can kill me. Oh. I have to dive him in eight seconds. <laughs> I don't think I can. Yeah, someone else already came up. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. I'm rooted. Ooh, pain. Oof. Run, boys. 
I love how I literally had the pink ward in my inventory, never used it, and now I'm selling it for this. <laughs> no. Dude, the Everfrost. God, this solo Renekton guy, he never goes 12 and 0. He sucks. True. That's true. We got Dragon in 30. That's Soul. The tactical int. Yeah. Well, the way the Pentas work is if... So we got a Quadra kill, right? So they're all dead except the one person. Now uh, we have... It's not just like 5 seconds or whatever. The, or 8 seconds. I don't know what the normal time is. That you have to like, you know, get the kills. So you get a double, triple kill, whatever. You have until one other person on the team respawns. So you could technically have like all of them dead for like 40 seconds. And then you kill a guy like, you know, with 38 seconds or after 38 seconds, so like two seconds remaining, you'd still get a penta, even though it was like 30 seconds later. It doesn't matter. They're too far away. Should still go here though. Easy peasy. Shall we? Uh oh. Uh, I should be okay. Yeah, this is a strong guy. Comes the knock up. <laughs> you just have to wait for him to catch somebody. Oh! <laughs> wait. No, not enough. Not enough. <laughs> Get him, <'em>, boys. <laughs> Do we got mouth out? Yo, we have Malfoy soon. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Alright, is it mean to play Lucian? Is that just bullying at this point? Yes. Lucian's ridiculous. Playing against ranged top laners is so so hard. So very hard. Because once they start snowballing, there's nothing you can do. He actually has a good champion against me. He he gets Tabby and Bramble. That's super good by. Tabby, and that's what he did. Tabby Bramble. And you have your E, which is pretty good. But once we get ahead and we can start kiting out his E, it's just overperform. Because if he leaps on me, doesn't stun. Or honestly, he did stun me a few of the times. It just didn't matter. We out damaged him because we can poke him down. Uh, like he probably has to. Because we poke him to like half. What would happen is I poke him to like half HP, then he try and all in me. And it's like, okay, even though you catch me with your stun or whatever, I already had like a 50% HP advantage. I was full health, you were half. So I could stand here, eat your full trade, and then still kill you. And that's kind of what happened. So maybe if he started like his all-in when he was full health or something like that, it might have went a little bit better. We were able to get a little bit of poke. But I mean, that's kind of just what happens with this type of uh, build. Pretty OP. Anyways, GG well played. Hope you, guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. If you're watching over on YouTube, like the video. Watch for more. Or uh, subscribe for more. If you're watching the live stream, follow the live stream. GG well played. Thanks for watching. Peace.